Rock 97.9, there's Finger 11 and Paralyzer. Good morning, I'm Nolan Hockness. I got and you've had like quite a few different roles in the community along your way here. How long have you been in Fort McMurray? I, I just had my seven year Mac anniversary, as I like to call it. March 1st, 2005 is when I moved up to town. And yes, I have had a number of different roles. I started off in this building uh, mm -hmm. when it was owned by OK Radio. And I was just the afternoon news uh, and sports anchor. And then I uh, got kind of thrown into play-by-play -play voice of the Oil Barons uh, about a month after I got here and uh, did that. And I was uh, co-host and morning show morning show co-host uh, with uh, Kenny Jones on Country mm -hmm. 93.3 for a bit as well. And then uh, bounced uh, around a little bit to some other radio stations and uh, and uh, other roles uh, in the community. And then ended up back here right where it all began. So this isn't your only, your only role isn't just in radio. People also can see your writing around town. What, wh where can they catch you and what kind of writer are you? Are you a columnist? <laughs> are you more of a reporter? Or? I am definitely not a reporter. There okay. is very little that I write. I, 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 I suppose I shouldn't say there's very little that I write based on fact, but I'm not, uh, I, I definitely give opinions. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. uh, if in, I write for the uh, weekend uh, edition of the Fort McMurray Today. Okay. And it is uh, an op-ed piece, uh, generally every week in there. Uh, also, I have been very lucky to do a few columns uh, for Big Spirit Magazine. And that is, that's really, really neat to, to talk to some of the real people that make this community tick. Um, you know, uh, you talk to, to people that are running baseball programs here in town and getting kids involved in sports and... Uh, uh, 13 year old girls who climb Mount Kilimanjaro and raise money for charity and mm -hmm. and uh, firefighters that you know uh, go into burning buildings every day like talking to those people is really cool and I really appreciate it but even the, the op-ed stuff is like it gives me a chance to uh, maybe expand upon it like radio is a very short form thing I have two minutes to get my point out yeah. uh, whereas you know uh, having an op-ed piece is you know I can expand upon it a little bit and uh, it's a different audience entirely too there's some people that maybe you know don't listen to me every day but will read the newspaper on the weekend so it's, it's a different avenue for me to get uh, all my crazy opinions out. Now for people that uh want to catch some of your crazy opinions so they can catch them there and also you're, you're pretty strong in the twitter following i guess you could say of Fort McMurray. you're probably like the twitter prince of the region maybe the twitter, prince, <laughs> the twitter prince of the region wow um <laughs> i i love twitter i love i love social media but I, especially twitter um why twitter like i know there's a lot of people that are out there that just that is not their thing uh i think because it's more i think it's more engaging than and there's a lot of less of the uh drama than there seems to be on on Facebook and I think people that are on Twitter really have strong opinions mm -hmm. you know and and they aren't afraid to express them and I really appreciate that and it gives me a chance to to see those and and interact with those people in a very short form you know yeah. um, and for McMurray's Twitter following I think is probably unrivaled of any community of its size in Canada. I can't imagine that there's another community that has as many active Twitter users uh, in a town of 100,000 people. And those people are great. Like I, it has connected me with an entirely different uh, circle of friends than mm -hmm. I had perhaps a, a year and a half ago. And uh, the people that are on there are fantastic and open and welcoming. And they love discussing issues, not just about Fort McMurray, but about social issues and, and just Politics. having fun even just in, that's what social media is all about right is interacting with people and and uh, I love it love it so you spoke a little bit about like the social media what they're talking about do you think right now we're definitely in a very political time of year do you think that this is going to be the year of Twitter when it comes to politics or do you think that maybe in Fort McMurray that won't play such a big role I think we've already had probably the year of Twitter in politics with the last municipal election mm -hmm. I think t uh, 2010 uh, was definitely the year of Twitter and I think this will only grow upon that uh, I don't see you know they, they all of the major candidates in both ridings are are active uh, for the well not all uh, three of the four mm -hmm. are fairly active uh, on Twitter uh, but I think uh, it's definitely a chance for you to get some opinions of those people and I don't it's a, and it's a chance for those people to get their opinions out to you and their policies and platforms and I think if somebody's not using it uh, it's a very much a detriment uh, to them you know it's a very much a chance for you to interact with with those people and uh, you, 
if for the candidates, it's an absolute must. I don't know why you wouldn't. But uh, I think for, for people, it's a chance for them to do research very easily mm -hmm. that would have previously been very hard to come by. You would have had to go to a debate or you would have had to do stuff yeah. like that. I think uh, this is a chance for you. You can even ask your, them questions on Twitter and they, will, they should respond, one would think, one would hope. Anyways, um, yeah, it's a chance. And I think uh, because Twitter skews younger than you know somebody that's, 20 maybe and this is their first time voting in a provincial election i i highly doubt they're going to go to a all candidates forum mm -hmm. but they may go on twitter mm -hmm. and see what these candidates have been saying so maybe it's a chance for for us to finally engage a group of people that maybe haven't voted before what's your biggest achievement do you think so far in the community <laughs> moment that you are the most proud of moment that i'm uh i gotta say every year that and i've had a chance to do it three times now and i hope to do it every year is uh, working with uh, the kids at Father Merck and Santa's Anonymous. It is, I am not a Christmas person, really. <laughs> um, I have become a Christmas person since dealing with uh, them and helping out with their Santa's Anonymous program. It's unbelievable, the work that they put into it. And it's all student run. And mm -hmm. they're the future leaders of this community. and. Not I forget future. They're probably the current leaders of this community, um, and to see them put the amount of work that they put into it, and the amount of heart and soul that they have for for helping out less fortunate people in our community, it it just warms your heart every Christmas seeing that, and seeing the giving at Fort McMurray too, because you'll see people come in and have two shopping carts full of toys for kids, mm -hmm. and just drop them in without even blinking an eye, right? Like mm -hmm. it's it's amazing to see that, and. Uh, Last year, uh, we actually got called to the assembly, and they they give uh, us a uh, the Jingle Bell Award, and I was like, <laughs> I was fighting back tears, right? And it was it was so nice to to just be around them again, and and to see them do the packing day and stuff like that, and mm -hmm. for them to give that to us completely unnecessarily because you know it is it's part of our job to to help out the community and to do yeah. stuff like that, and it helps. It helps our profile by by leaps and bounds, but it also you know we love doing that kind of stuff, right? And I, I that is, I, I want to be involved with that as long as I'm in Fort McMurray. Well, thanks so much, Nolan. Oh, this Thank was you awesome. very much for hanging out with us today. Mm -hmm. I know that you definitely are available all around the community. So once more, people want to catch you. Where can they catch you in the morning? Uh, 5 a.m. to 10 a.m. on Rock 97.9 Monday to Friday. And if they want to catch some of your reading, uh, weekend Fort McMurray today. And if I want to be one of those wonderful followers for you on Twitter? Uh, Nolan underscore H. And awesome. Well, you've heard it, guys. If you want to be able to follow this awesome guy who I'm very proud to be able to call a friend, make sure that you look up Nolan Hawkness and you could become one of his Twitter followers. Thanks for watching.